Today we are going to learn about musical words and symbols. Let's take a look at page 41. So for every volume control we have a specific marking or a symbol or a word which are called dynamic markings. So you can start with the medium soft we say moderate piano or MP for short and then if you want to get louder we start with moderate forte that means medium loud so forte means loud so we can write with a simple F and then if you want to get more louder you can write double F to show that it's fortissimo it means very loud at the same time if you go below MP you get to soft which we write with the simple P meaning for piano and if you want to get more softer you can write double P for very soft the word stands for pianissimo so after that we also have something called a crescendo that means if you want to get louder within the piece of music so you can see this little part is closed and at the end it looks a little open it's like a V that is opening up at the end so that means you want to get louder within the piece of music you also can have the reverse version which is called a decrescendo or a diminuendo which we write DIM for short so it's like a sign that is opened up and the opening gets closed let's move on to the next part we also have articulation marks which means anything like slurs or staccatos accents those kind of things it means it tells the player how to play the notes with what sort of effects so these are called articulation marks and then you also have tempo marks and other signs which means andante and you can see our first one is andante it means at a walking pace and allegro means fast moderato means at a moderate pace we also have a ritenuto that means sometimes we write it rit for short and it means getting slower and finally you have repeat marks which you will find at the end of the piece with double bar lines and two dots it means go back all the way from the beginning of the piece and repeat the whole part that's it so you have to study these little things and then you can try out the exercise on page 42 okay let's take a look at the example first show that this music should be played at a walking pace add dynamics to show that it should be played softly in bar 3 it should get louder and in bar 4 it should be loud so this means that you want to start soft and you want to get louder and louder towards the end as you can see in the example there's a little P sign for soft and the more you get louder you can have a crescendo on bar 3 so they are saying it should be played softly except when it comes to bar 3 it should get louder so you can't immediately get loud this is why you have to use a crescendo and bar 4 it's played loud we have a F for 40 so this is our dynamics and then the term for walking pace we just studied andante let's take a look at the second one show that this music should be played fast we can use the term allegro isn't it add dynamics to show that it should be played very loudly so we write the dynamics at the bottom of the music always remember the tempo markings are written at the top of the music and dynamics at the bottom I'm going to write double F for fortissimo which means very loud 
Then on bar 3, it should get softer. Let's take a look at the third question. Show that this music should be played at a moderate pace. So moderate pace means moderato. Add dynamics to show that it should be played medium loud. So medium loud means MF mezzo forte. Let's write them out in simple letters. And finally, you also have to add an accent to the first note of each bar. So you can see I have added accents for every first note of each bar. Then add a repeat sign to show that this music should be repeated. You just have to write two dots to show the repeat mark. And that's it. So let's take a look at the next question. Show that this music should be played fast and loud. Add staccato marks to all the quavers. For the term fast, I'm going to add allegro. Then loud, I'm going to add a forte under the music. Then finally, I'm also going to add staccatos for all the quavers. So let's take a look at the next question. Question 5. Show that this music should be played at a walking pace. Very soft. Add three note slurs above the bars where there are crotchet note values. Write the term for walking pace, which is moderato. For very soft, double P. Write two simple P's. Then add three note slurs above the bars where there are crotchet note values. So they are asking you to slur the crotchets in threes. So here's three notes. And they are all crotchets. So let's move on to the last question. This music should be played at a moderate pace and soft. Show that it should be played smoothly. Again for moderate pace, I can write moderato. Oh sorry, I think I made a mistake here. This should be, the earlier one was a walking pace. It should be an andante, not moderato. I'm sorry about that. So let's write in Dante. And for moderate pace, you can tell by the English term meaning moderate. And the Italian term is also similar to that moderato. Okay. And then you have to play this soft. So let's write a P for soft. And finally, show that it should be played smoothly. You can write it after the dynamics legato. So now I'm done with this question.